Hey everyone, I'm Northern Explorer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to start on the interior build out of my four wheel camper Hawk shell. Specifically, I'm going to be working on the installation of the 20 gallon water tank. Some of the water tank installation is going to overlap a little bit with what I have planned for the seating area on the passenger side of the camper. So some disassembly of this area is going to be required for the water tank. I have no idea how four wheel campers attaches their water tanks. So this is just the system that I came up with. So the 20 gallon water tank that I went with measures 32 and a half inches long, 11.75 inches wide and 11.75 inches deep. There are three fitted half inch NPT fittings for low water point drain, the pump and the vent. And then there's a 1.25 inch diameter smooth pipe for the fill. It's gonna weigh about 166 pounds when it's full of water. So I'm gonna have to do a really good job of securing it to the floor. The first few cuts I did for this project ended up being a little bit rough. My table saw came with a 28 tooth saw blade. So I went out and bought a 40 tooth and an 80 tooth Bosch blade. So I'm going to test those out. I think I'm going to go straight for the 80 tooth and try to get the cuts as fine as possible. Sure, it's unplugged. Yep. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Uh, this will be holding the tank down in place and then I'm going to build a seating platform on top of this. Which brings me to my next new tool that I just bought. Uh, I bought a pocket hole jig. So I'm going to try that out for attaching these straight down. So we're going to try and see how that works. Well, I guess we're going to find out if that works.
progress so far. I'm going to trade these in for lock nuts. So I'm just about ready to put the cover on it. Not 100% sure how I'm going to run the water lines through here and up and out. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So far, so good. Getting close to the finish line here. So the access door for the water pump, I was gonna put a piano hinge here, but I realized that lifting it up this way is gonna interfere with the cabinet that I'm eventually gonna be building because it's gonna be built out over the top like this and this door won't be able to be opened up. So I've gone with plan B which is super simple. I just put a couple of stoppers on the back so it can't slide off. And then I'm gonna put one of these magnet latches to hold it so it doesn't vibrate too much. So once I do that, this job will be done. In conclusion, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it just so happens that the cushion I bought from Menards fits perfectly on here. So that's a bonus. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.